All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kahakwadash, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, who you call God. Yahweh means he to be. Bahashem means in the name of. Yahweh Shai means he delivers, who you ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashem in the name of. Rekaha Kodash, Spirit Holy, the Holy Spirit. Okay, double honors to the, and that is in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. All right, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations. Hopeful, like Aki, I'm pushing this word with truth and sincerity. Shalom to the Bayah, Shadabada, the house of David. The men, women, and children listening and learning. All right. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Karathaza of Men of Valley of Las Vegas camp. All right. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American are the true p chosen people of God, Yahweh. All right. All right. And they are the Israelites in the Bible. All right. Salvation belongs to you and you alone. This includes the Israelite foreigner. Well, Israel's been scattered through captivity, all right, uh, such as in, in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, all right, taking on physical features of heathen nations, all right, but as long as this testimony, bear, uh, you know, bear witness with your spirit, all right, and your father's line goes back to so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, as this truth is for you. Repentance is for you and salvation is for you and you alone. All right. This uh, lesson I'm going to get into today is going to be called uh, Gear Up. All right. You know, to ensure, you know, and, and to, you know, gear up our minds and prepare ourselves, you know, mentally and, and, and even more so spiritually. All right, being on one accord with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for, for the day of evil, to make sure our hedge of protection, all right, is there in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, which that comes by faith, all right, and, and as the book of James says, if you have faith, you're going to show it in your works. So without further ado, let's get into this lesson, just going to be a quick hit, all right. And uh, we're going to go into the book of Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that he may be able, that you, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because we know in these end times, all right, it's prophesied in the book of Revelation that this devil is going to come down with great wrath. All right, Esau, Edom, the wicked, known today as the so-called white man, all right, is going to put laws in place, all right, is going to enforce uh, draconian measures, all right, to, to uh, bring forth this NWO, which all starts with, you know, the crash of this economy, all right, the crash of the dollar, all right, and, and and ends with the M O T to the B. All right, but this this devil has put an evil spirit. All right, and he's going to try men. He's going to try you know first and foremost the elect of Yahweh Bashemi Al Shai. All right, the elect of Yahweh Bashemi Al Shai's people, the Israelites. He's going to make them try to fold because once you know, if you cut off the head, the body follows, and, and the elect. All right. The starting with the prophets teaching the the hundred percent truth. All right, they are the head. They are the leaders of our people, and, and you know more importantly in this time, the one third of our people because that's who's predestinated to be saved. Two thirds of our people will die. You know, by uh, you know, by various reasons. 
Oh, all right, they're gonna. The Most High is gonna take them out. All right, and make an example of them. All right, verse twelve. It says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, and principalities is spirits." All right, the devil has put a perverse spirit in this world. All right, it's exceedingly polluted with evil. All right, and that comes in the forms of demons. All right. And um, you know his his witchcraft and, and sorceries, and the, and people carry this perverse spirit with them. All right, as it said, as uh, Yahweh Shai said, you know, in Matthew seven, that we are to walk a straight gate, and there's evil on both sides. Also in uh, Second Edges. All right, so a hey, temptations all around you. Wide is the gate of uh, to destruction. All right, but narrow is the way to the kingdom. Right, so it's more than just, you know, what we see. All right, and as you become more rooted in this faith, you know, your eye self. All right, the Lord opens up. You know, He gives you that that sight. All right, the light, and it yeah, more things are revealed unto you. Whether it be in the uh, in, in in your dreams, all right, or even when you're walking about the day, like certain things, you know, just going about life, you know, walking outside, you know, you may see a few things, you know, different demons, you know, uh, possessing people, but you can tell, or or a demon jump on on your woman, all right. We all see that with the spiritual eye. But the majority of this world doesn't see those things. All right. And that's why it's important, you know, moving, continuing on. You know, uh, that, you know, we gear ourselves up. All right. In this matter. And it starts first and foremost with this truth. All right. Prayer and, 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 and keeping this faith until the end. I'm going to read 12 from the top because I can't remember if I finished it. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And best believe these rulers of the darkness, they put out, you know, enchantments, you know, to plague the whole world. So that's what we're really up against. All right. Not just the seen, but the unseen. It says, wherefore, apparitions. Okay. Uh, verse 13. It says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So we have to make ensure that we, we do all. All right. Doing our lessons. You know, make, making sure that we stay prayed up. Getting ourselves right with Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, so we could withstand that day of evil. Because it's going to get, you know, it's going to get very wild out here. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. All right, so when you have your loin, loin you know, gird up thy loins. All right, it's, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, um, way you used to wrap your garment, you know, and it prepare for, for battle. It's almost like how Jake in the street, when you about to fight somebody, if you was about to get in a fight, you know, you pull up your pants and, and you know, kind of get ready. It's no different than that. But saying, gird up, have, uh, having your loins girt about with truth, okay? So... This truth is our readiness. A knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. It says, in having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's right. We need to walk in this gospel. We need to walk according to how, you know, following Yahweh Shai. For there is no other way but through Yahweh Shai. It says above all taking the shield of faith. See, faith is is most important. 
It says, Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of wicked of the wicked. Okay, and I wanna let's get a quick preset to prove how important faith is. I'm gonna go to the book of Hebrews. Eleven and six. And it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him who? Yahweh. Alright? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? So you need faith to make it out of it. Alright? It's essential. That's why Paul said, Above all, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit which is the word of the Most High, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. So you've got to be in, in, in the correct spirit. There's a there's a certain spirit you got to be in. You can't just, you know, call on a name, you know, and then be in the spirit of folly, be in the spirit of this world. All right. Like you have them reprobates, you know, which I'm probably going to do another lesson today following up this one. You know, you have them reprobates, uh, Israelite camp celebrating uh, thanks taking okay thanks billing you know and it's just madness it's wicked alright so you gotta be in the right spirit the spirit of Yahweh B'Hashim Yahshua the spirit of the, this truth alright it says and watching there unto all perseverance and supplication for all saints, you know, being a brother, you know, doing, all right, persevering, what does that mean? Perseverance is pretty much in enduring as a good soldier. When you persevere, all right, stop you. All right, to persevere, to, to, you know, endure into the end. Let's leave it at that. Um, but yeah, so, and, and, and praying, you know, your way through, you know, asking the, the Lord, you know, to keep the Spirit on you, to keep, you know, um, you on the right path to open, you know, to, to lead, to lead you. So I, I don't know, I have my phone on, do not disturb him. You know, this damn devil still managed to interrupt this lesson, but it's all right. We're just going to push on. We ain't going to let it stop us. All right, we ain't going to let it stop. This is a continuing on. First Thessalonians and get, uh, 5 and 16. And it says, rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And that's the main point I wanted to get, to pray without ceasing. All right, to call upon the Lord in times of need. All right, to listen. All right, and follow His path. All right, knowing that the man's goings are of the Lord, and having the faith that He's going to deliver us out of these situations. All right, that we are going to come into. It says in every every thing, give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh Shimei All right, conquering uh, concerning you. Okay, so we we have to give thanks for the the uh, the chastisements, the the uh, correction. All right, even though it may be grievous when we're in the time of it, you know, at the end, and we we know that great things are coming. All right, quench not the spirit, despise not prophecies, prophesyings. All right, and despise not the prophesyings. You know, don't take this word lightly. Don't be like. The, the two thirds who don't believe that this is going to come to pass. This isn't going to come to pass. Because we know that it is. Alright, prove all things. And that's something we need to do in this ministry. We need to prove all things. Alright, prove them true. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai of what we preach. Hold fast that which is good. So to abstain from all appearances. Of evil, and we need to hold on to the, uh, you know, to this truth. That's what's good. This knowledge, wisdom, the correct teachings, and, and abstain from looking like these reprobates because they're, they're trying to tie us in. You know, which ultimately we can't stop persecution. We must go through it. 
but they're gonna they're trying to tie us in in various matters, you know. Um, with with various uh, other camps that are are going off, all right, and not uh, you know uh, you know uh, walking, you know, in his ministry correctly, all right. You know, uh, they're they're blaming you know, and and the ministry is going to be blamed for it. So ultimately, we want to have uh, make the, be make the ministry blameless, as the scriptures say. All right, and it says, and in verse twenty three, it says, and the very so so do what you can to separate yourself from those other camps. All right, and stay to which is good, which is coming out of you know the hundred percent truth of GMS all right and guess what we still gonna get persecuted for preaching this truth the hundred percent doctrine because the world is adverse to it all right but don't give them a reason it's pretty much the point and the very power of peace sanctify you holy and I pray Yahweh your whole I pray the most high your whole spirit and soul and body be be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, so everything we're doing is in preparation for Yahweh Shem Shai coming back because we know how he's coming. He's coming with a sword and not peace. All right, he's coming to destroy. All right, he's coming to take this world out, and we don't want to be joined to it in any uh, way of manner. We, we want to present ourselves as a as a, a as an honorable vessel, all right, as that chaste virgin when Yahweh Shai comes back. You got to be ready for the bridegroom, all right, clean, all right. And that's what we're getting into. We're, we're getting, we're in the times of, of, of purification. All these, you know, uh, Israelites that, that, you know, can't get it right, they're going to be purged out, all right. Members of your own body going to be uh, purged out. Okay, because the the Lord has to set His house in order. Right? That's why judgment comes to Yahweh Bashan Al Shai's, the house of Yahweh first. Okay, so let's get this in First Peter, and we're gonna close out. This First Peter one and thirteen it says, "Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and girding up the loins of, of your mind once again." All right. Getting that mind ready for the day of evil, for the day of trouble, when Esau come down with great wrath. It says, be sober and, you know, being sober minded, you know, not, you know, being aware of what's going on. And hope to end, to the end, for the grace that it is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. So, all right, you better pray that you make it and, and the Lord put the spirit on you to endure until the end. All right, and let no and do what you can in, in your power, or which ultimately we know our ways are, are led by Yahweh by Shimei Shai. But do what you can in your power to make it there, make your calling of an election sure. All right, giving all diligence as the scriptures say. It says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, right? Walk in this new light that you have that was given unto you by the Most High. All right. And, and but as he which hath called you is holy. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. In verse 15, I'll just read it. But as he... <clears throat> but as he which it hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manners of conversation. So yeah, we're supposed to be in a spiritual, you know, constantly, you know, doing the best of our ability to be in the spirit. All right. Everything that we speak, you know, should be really revolved around the scriptures. All right. Not a barbershop talk or, or you know, debating, you know. Who's going to win the, the, the playoffs or who's who's going to win what NFL team is the best. All right. Which is not nothing wrong with, with watching it, you know, but 
you know, that's not our main concern. Not not trying to, uh, you know, gain, you know, the world in, in, in our captivity. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, you know, that's pretty much it. Also, in, in Peter, it says that, you know, since the end is so close, you know, what manner of conversation should we be in? We should be, you know, speaking about these prophecies. We, as I said, despise not the prophecies. We need to be, we need to be, uh, you know, involved in it. Okay. So at the end, you know, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson, you know, just to uh, reiterate, you know, to, to gear up spiritually, man. We're almost at the end of these things, prophecy, you know, going out left and right. All right. Use this window of opportunity uh, wisely and speaking about myself first and foremost. All right. So with that, call law, Yahweh Bashim al All right. Double honest apostles and elders of great millstone. All right. Peace, blessings, and, and salutations to the hopeful elect, Akim. All right. And Shalom. Call me a